Hello guys, welcome to the next part of UUGX. If I'm not mistaken, today is the day of the testing and whatnot. Or that Jaden will duel that guy from the other academy. But I will check here. Why is it? Or no, it's tomorrow. Man. Yeah, it's tomorrow. There it is. Interscholastic duel. Wait. Did I give Jaden his stuff? No, I don't care if I did or didn't. I can't remember. Uh -huh. So, uh, yeah. How y'all been doing? Doing great. Went to a... And then... Went to another, uh... Okay. A message. The duel will be between our academy and North Academy. Let's go cheer our academy on. Everyone come to the duel field after class. Alright. Let's do that. Um, went to a live stream not too long ago. And the guy was giving... At one point, close to the end of the stream, the guy was giving, uh... Oh, I didn't talk to Jaden. The guy was giving, like, hints and what... Or helpful advice for, uh, people who are just starting LPs, and so I started to listen to him, because, as you know, I'm still my first one. But, yeah, I was listening to him, and I went in the wrong room. And he knew exactly what he was talking about. Um, I got a lot of great advice. I think I'm going to start trying to get do it. Uh, and I got some advice from people in the chat who are also doing LPs. And it was just a great time because I get to learn so much. Um, so what can I talk about? There ain't really much to talk about till the uh, one duel starts. Going to a concert later today. About, like, three hours, I'll be going to a concert. It's one of them, it's like, it's two tribute bands or whatever. It's a, a band that's a tribute to ACDC known as Hell's Bells, I think. And another band that, blah, blah, blah. And another tribute, the other tribute band is a tribute to the Scorpions. Duel, um, the other band's a tribute to the Scorpions. I don't remember their band name. And I don't feel like getting up to check. School duel against North Academy will begin. So come on, come on. When do I get to meet my opponent? You'll meet him right now, slacker. Huh? Who was that? Am I seeing things, or is that Princeton? Wait, Chaz is the party? When he got banished, he went to North Academy? Okay. It's Mr. Princeton to you. You're North Academy's rep at Princeton? I said it's Mr. Princeton. Yo, Chaz. What's going on, little brother? Slay, Jagger, why are you here? Why else? To celebrate your big victory. You are going to win, right, Chaz? Don't let the Princeton name down because the school duel is going to be broadcast worldwide. Grr. No way, me on TV? My face beamed across the. 
of uh, coming across the world in full color. World domination is ours if we all do our part. Dr. Crowler, introduce the duelist. With pleasure, Chancellor Shepard. After all, these are two duelists I know well. And personally, I just adore them. Yeah. Now first from Duel Academy, introducing Jaden Yucky, I mean you, Jaden Yuki. Go Jay, you can do it. Totally. And his opponent, get off the stage. I'll introduce myself, you scrub. I beg your pardon, what did you call me? I said scrub. Scrubs don't have PhDs in dueling, got that? I studied at... Quiet, it's Chaz Princeton's turn now. But then I don't really need an introduction. After all, uh, after all, everybody here knows who I am, or do you? See, the chance Princeton has changed. When I left here, I left my old self. You're looking at the new ch and improved Chaz, and I'm here to Chaz it up, Chaz it up, Chaz it up. Yeah, Chaz it up, Chaz it up, Chaz it up. Wow, it's almost like they really like Chaz. But Jaden, don't worry. You beat Princeton before and you'll do it again. It might not be that easy. Huh? Why? And you were so fired up. Jaden's scared? I'm not scared at all. It's just, I gotta give it to Princeton. He took control of North Academy all by himself. And he's back to fight. That takes guts. Chaz, you better win. Don't hurt the Princeton name. Here I go, Jaden. I refuse to lose to a slacker. Bring it on, Princeton. It's Mr. Princeton to you. Alright, now let's start the duel. Now, before I explain to you why did it seem like it just jumped there or something, that's because this duel in itself is so long and that I actually had to do an entire separate filming just to fit this entire duel in one video. So, yeah, I mean, if that gives you any hint on how long this duel is. So yeah, right after this duel I'll probably either... Uh, maybe read the, uh, if there's time I'll read the text after the duel, if there isn't, maybe I'll read the text next part or I'll do another filming for the text next part and then save the game and then that'll be one part, I don't know. But yeah, and this separate filming is happening a day after the first seven minutes of this video because that freaking, uh, cutscene actually added a lot of time onto it so that took me, I had less time to actually film the duel. So, yeah. So in that case, uh, yeah, this is actually from the day after I went to that concert or whatever. I had to leave early from the concert. Uh, it wasn't my, it wasn't, I didn't want to leave early, but I had to because I went with my, uh, dad and he was my ride, so, yeah. I don't have a permit or a license despite me being 16. But, uh, yeah. Uh, the concert was really neat. I had the I left early. For, uh, it was like uh, it was first the Scorpions tribute band, then it went to the ACDC one. And my dad didn't really like the ACDC band, even though he loves ACDC, he loves their music. He said the band sounded more like noise than music or whatever. I don't know. But he loves ACDC. I guess that's why he stuck around for a bit, but he didn't stick around for too long during that. But uh, yeah. But yeah, both bands were amazing in my opinion. Uh, I love both bands. Um, I got to learn some Scorpion songs since I only know one Scorpion song, and that's uh, Rocky Like a Hurricane. Uh, yeah. So it was really nice to get to hear some other Scorpions music. 
Um, I was actually, I was sitting up in the seats. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, I live down here in Missouri, and I went to the St. Charles Family Arena, which is where the concert was held. And, um, if you've been to the Family Arena, I don't know if many of you out there have been to the Family Arena in St. Charles, but, uh, you know, there's a section of seats, and then it's free to go onto the floor and get closer there. But, uh, plus the, the entire concert was free. We didn't have to pay anything except for parking, which is just five bucks, so. They gave us a five dollar coupon for Lee's Chicken, so whatever. But yeah, we got to sit in the seats. Uh, we were center, we were center in the back, of the, and we were kind of close, like the middle of the seats in the center. Uh, but. Yeah, that, that's all. I was only there for the first band. After the first band, I saw some of my friends and I went down to hang out with them on the floor. And I was actually pretty close to uh, the stage. I was maybe only a couple people back from the uh, stage, and it was pretty neat. It was real nice to get to hang out with my friends and whatever. I had to leave early and my friends stayed and uh, one of my friends knows the singer of the uh, that trip that Scorpions tribute band and that, that was real nice. I think that's how she got like 20 free tickets. She gave me like four when I only needed two. So I had two tickets that went unneeded. Whatever. It was still a really nice concert. Had some Mason DC stone stuck in my head to the right on the ride home and I still got one stuck in my head today. I would try to hold it back because normally when I get a song stuck in my head I can't help myself but sing it and I don't want you people to hear my horrible singing voice. And I mean it's horrible. I think the only reason people didn't tell me to stop singing was either because it was too damn loud there or everyone was just drunk off their ass. I think I'm tone deaf. No one's told me I'm not. That's just because no one's ever heard me sing. But yeah, according to the cutscene that happened before this, what I want, what I, what I wanted to talk about was that. Stupid Chaz it up line. Uh, I mean, is, was that line created by four kids or something? That that's explainable. If you tell me that's in the original Japanese, then uh, I, I feel sad. I, I feel really, really sad. Now, if it's four kids, I don't feel sad because four kids are stupid and they'll put stupid lines in their TV shows and name characters stupid things. Um, but oh my god, that, that's horrible, Chaz it up, what does that even mean? I mean does Chaz do something special with his dueling or something? I mean also, I mean, win, is that what Chaz it up means, is to win? Or go Chaz or something, I, I don't get it. Maybe that's just a, they're showing of appreci appreciation. I can't speak today. Uh, to Chaz, I don't know. It's it's a stupid line. I'm not saying it's stupid because it, as I don't understand it. It's a stupid line because it doesn't even sound right. Chaz it up. It doesn't sound like it flows real well. I mean. I guess four kids got like three year olds to be their writers. Whatever. I'm gonna leave it at that. that. Four kids are a bunch of idiots that will put stupid lines in their shows like Chaz It Up. Even when I was a little kid and I first heard Chaz It Up on the TV show, I thought it was stupid.
So now I'm not saying, oh, that's a line because kid, your kids really like that line. No, it's not because when I was a kid and I first, when the episode first aired, where they said Chaz it up, no, I thought it was the stupidest line on earth. I didn't think any TV show could come up with a stupider line than Chaz it up. Of course, I've seen stupider lines, but whatever. I'm, I couldn't name stupider lines. Whatever, I think this filming, I'm a lot more talkative than I was last filming, because I, I barely talked when I was last filming this duel, and I had to quit because I couldn't get the entire duel in one filming. Hopefully I can do that this time around. I didn't know. I could have swore at one point I saw Clayman and that uh, beast from the dead or, or that creature from the swamp or whatever. And he used he, polymerization on them two. He was together to get Mud Bubble Man. But don't you need Clayman and Bubble Man to make that? So you watch. I think this is the scene. Yeah, see Creature of the Swamp. I thought you needed Bubble Man and Clay Man to make it. Do you just need like an Aqua Monster and or does Creature from the Swamp have a special ability? Like that has to do with polymerization. I don't know. Either this game is flawed, because I'm pretty sure you need Clay Man and Bubble Man. In order to make Mud Bubble Man. Oh wait, I'm gonna show up for the cinematic. I feel like an idiot now. I'm texting while the while the school is going on, and I, one of my friends said to remember to bring something over their place, and I said I won't because I thought they said, um, don't forget to bring it. And so now it, I had to explain that I meant I meant that, and I feel like an idiot. God, I feel like a big idiot. I'm gonna be beating myself up for the next five years because of that. That's a problem with my memory. I always remember whenever I whenever I'm not even trying to think of something, if something happens that triggers or or that triggers a memory to happen that's like something I did long ago that was sheer stupidity. Then yeah. I end up beating myself up about it, like I'll hit myself or I'll bite myself or something. I don't know. I hate having the memories of me doing stupid shit. I still have memories from like back in like, what, 6th or 5th grade of me doing stupid shit. And I still beat myself up about it, and that was, what, 6th uh, grade was... Down, so that would be about five years ago, five, five or six, uh, depending on how you want to put it. You know, so maybe five, six, or seven years ago, and I'm still beating myself up about the stupid shit I did back then. I don't know, I don't like coming off as an idiot, and I can't ever accept that. If for some reason, I, my mind refuses to accept that I do stupid shit.
And it's not, I'm not actually trying to even beat myself up about it. Uh, it's like a reflex I have. I don't know what causes it, but the second I think of something stupid I did, I end up beating myself up or biting myself or something, shaking my head or my body, but if the memory doesn't go away after shaking, then I end up hitting myself or something. Most of the time in the head as hard as I can, which isn't that hard. Oh, music changing. Does that mean Chaz is going to win this? I mean, Jaden only has one monster on his side of the field. Uh, yeah. It's like a reflex I have and whatever. I don't control it. I mean, I can control it well enough in school to where I only need to shake just to get rid of the memory for a brief while, but if I'm on... But uh, if I'm at home or, or somewhere else, I'll end up hitting myself. Because I'm an idiot. Yeah, back here is where uh, the duel, where I, had, where I had to stop filming for the duel because it was going too damn long. Or something, I don't know. It was about that spot, though. So I, I remember... The Arm Dragon level 3 be one of the last things he did. Alright, now it duels back to normal because of Jaden's move. But, uh, yeah. Enough about me. Well, actually, I don't know much about you guys. So all I can do is talk about me or the game, but I don't know much about this game either. And honestly, I'm trying to talk about the duel, but there ain't much to say about the duel. I mean, Jane played Pot of Green! Green! Oop! I'm surprised I've hit 70 subscribers. I never thought I'd get this far. Of course, some of them are my friends. Not all of them, but some. At least I think I hit 70. I'm not sure. Still. Uh, thanks to all you guys out there that subscribed to me. Uh, I just don't know. I mean, 70 may not sound like a lot to some of you, but... It's a lot to me. I mean, it, it is, honestly, because I never thought I'd get 70. I, I, hell, I never even thought I'd get, like, 40 or 30. I thought I'd get, like, 15, and then the second Yu-Gi-Oh! was done, they'd all unsubscribe, because that's all they cared about. But no, I, you, you guys are amazing. Put up with the shit I say in, in these videos, and I don't know. It almost seems like I made I force you guys to put up with a lot. So yeah, thanks. Thanks for sticking with me, and I don't know if any of you will leave once Yu Gi Oh Jokes is done because I don't know. I know some people that are like that. They subscribe to one LP or just because they want to see whether LP is done. And, you know, that's the only reason. Um, I know some, I know some idiots that are like that. I'm not, I don't think any of you guys are like that. Unless I hope none of you are. I mean, if you are, don't subscribe to someone just because you want to see one of their LPs done. You know, be like, oh, oh, this guy's doing an LP, he's the only guy that's doing an LP of this game. You know, I'm gonna subscribe to him. Wait, he's not. He's the only one doing an LP of this game. Wait, he's not done yet? Alright, I guess I'll subscribe. Alright, then once the LP is over, 
Oh, well, he's done. I beat the game. I got to see how the game was played out. And he's not that interesting, so I'm going to unsubscribe. Now, why? Don't do that. Subscribe to someone because only if you are interested in their content. Don't just subscribe to see one series finished. Arr! Jazz, you loser, you dog, you've disgraced yourself. You've disgraced the Princeton name. Just give me another chance. Another chance? Do you know what... Do you know much we spent? Wait, do you know much we spent? Fail. 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 Whoever was in charge of proofreading the text in this game, you fail at life. Do you know much we spent? Do you mean, do you know how much we spent? That is a fail. Please, yes, you can see that. Oh my god, that is a fail. Proofread! That is what proofreading is for. Wait, this is a 4Kids game. Why the hell am I worried about that? 4Kids don't even know how to do their own shit, let alone proofread. Whatever. Whatever, I've seen worse in, like, older games. Where, I've seen older games... Uh, what, what was that old game? Uh, where they, like, misspelled Earth and put Erath or something. I don't know. You, you don't deserve to be a Princeton. Sorry. Hey, leave him alone. Sure, Princeton lost. Because you jerks were breathing down his neck. Jerks, watch your words. We could have you we could have you crushed. Oh actually Jaden's speaking what I've been thinking about you two. You two are a bunch of assholes. That's no way to treat family. We gave it our all in the duel, both of us. I don't care how hard he tried, that's loser talk. All I care about is the result. True, the result is very important, but I don't like his attitude. Why defend Chaz anyhow? He's a nobody now. And worst of all, he got beat. Wrong, there's one fight he did win. The fight against you two. You're done saying that, Jaden. Princeton? I mean, come on, no one believes that. Chaz, Jagger, Slade, please leave. I don't have time for your garbage, Chaz. Let's go, Jagger. Well, I guess this is goodbye. But don't forget to write, Princeton. Jaden, I'm not going back to North Academy. I belong right here. Dual Academy's my home. A chance our shepherd will have me back. Well, Princeton, how can I say no? There is one thing, Chaz. You dropped out of school. Therefore, technically, you're a new student. What? So you must start from the bottom. At Slifer Red. Slifer? Chaz, you're dor we're dorm buddies. I'm not your buddy! I hope you like rats. Our dorm got tons of them. I changed my mind. I want to go back to North Academy. Guys, how about we give him the Slifer cheer? I don't want it. It's time to... Chaz it up. Oh god, don't start with the Chaz it up. Jazz it up! No, don't start with the jazz it up! It's stupid! My family is already dysfunctional! Yes it is! Jazz it up is stupid as all hell! Okay, 24th of June. Alright, I'm gonna go save and then end the video.